We're live on the 802 with Mike Clough from Southern Vermont Natural History Museum, and he has brought a friend with him today to talk about his programs. Hi, Mike. Welcome. Hey, how are you doing, Taryn? Doing great. great. Who have you brought today? So this is a black rat snake. We call her Ember, but she doesn't come when you call, so call her something else if you don't like that name. Uh, <laughs> Will do. Yeah. And Ember is located within your museum. Yeah, absolutely. We have uh, Ember lives with another black rat snake uh, and a corn snake uh, at the museum. They're some of the live animals we have. Great. And this kind of snake is native to Vermont, yes? Absolutely, yeah. They're uh, not as common as they once were. Uh, the best place to find them now is in the western part of the state. Uh, they uh, actually will end up being even bigger than this. So they are Vermont's largest snake. They can top out at close to eight feet. Gosh, that's incredible. So if we're walking in the woods, we can stumble upon a snake this size in Vermont. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's scary. Stay at home. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, well, you see, the, no, that some a lot of people are nervous about snakes. Uh, one thing that people are often afraid of is getting bit. Mm. The great thing about getting bit by a snake, they have super weak jaws and teeny tiny little teeth. A cat scratch will do more harm to you than this snake is able to do. So is are rat snakes venomous? Uh, see, that would be the exception, right? A venomous snake, obviously, it doesn't matter how hard they bite. If they choose to inject some venom, it's going to be a problem. Uh, luckily, in the Northeast, it's really easy to spot our venomous snakes. Mm. Uh, in New England, we have timber rattlesnakes and we have copperheads, and those are both vipers. So when you look at Ember's head here, you'll see it's kind of an oval shape, right? With our vipers, they have great big diamond or triangle shaped heads. And if you get really close, what shape is her pupil in there? It's round. It's round, you got it. And our venomous snakes would have the slit pupil like a cartoon oh. snake. Now, if you think it might be a rattlesnake, don't go like this. Yeah, I was sure, just though. thinking okay. that when my face was like in her face, <laughs> it was a little scary, but she seems super sweet. How long has she been at the museum for? Well, she's been in captivity as far as we know her entire life. Um, and when we got her, she was an adult sized snake. So she could have been four or five years old then, and that was about seven years ago. Mm. Will she get any bigger or is she? Oh yeah, reptiles will grow for their entire lives. So as long as they're eating, they're growing. Mm -hmm. uh, once they get this big, that growth rate slows down quite a bit. Cause I mean, one mouse doesn't amount to a lot mm -hmm. of length with a snake this size. Hmm. Interesting. So let's talk about your museum a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Jessica, you run an incredible program up there. Talk a little bit about what you have going on up on Hogback. Sure, absolutely. Uh, at the museum, we have, for the most part, we're an old school natural history museum, right? We have uh, a historic taxidermy collection that has about 250 species represented in it. That's the largest collection of native birds and mammals in Vermont. It might be the largest exhibit in the Northeast. Yale and Harvard have more specimens than we do that are native to the Northeast, but they're not all on exhibit. Uh, now, of course, not everybody loves the Dead Animal Museum, so we have animals like Ember here to put that live animal spin on it. Uh, the Birds of Prey, probably a little more popular than the snakes are, but when you visit the museum, you might get a chance to pet the snake, whereas we can't let you pet the bald eagle. Mm, no, but your uh, your birds of prey are incredible too. All rescues, some really oh, cool absolutely. birds in there. Yeah. What kind of birds do you have? Well, we have uh, the bald eagles. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, screech owls, barred owls, red-tailed hawk, broad-winged hawk, merlins, cool little falcons, and we have a northern raven. That's just a neat bird. Uh, and then the reptiles too, though. They get out and do a lot of programs as well. Uh, also native. So we have native turtles, native snakes, and Whereas the, the birds are handicapped, the reptiles are either unwanted pets or they're illegal pets that were seized by fish and wildlife mm. and ended up with us. Well, we want them. They all deserve a little recognition <laughs> in their own right. All really incredible. Yeah. Now you do some programs outside of the museum as well, right? You're oh, bringing absolutely. these guys around, yeah. educating our children, different classes, schools. You got it, yeah. yeah. We travel all over Vermont and into the neighboring states. Uh, we're doing a ton of New York libraries this year uh, and all of it, just getting out, trying to encourage people. I mean, yes, yeah, see the animals, the animals are great, but these are animals that are literally right outside. You know, you can go out today, hike around Vermont and you might find a snake just like this 
or something you're a little more comfortable with. Well, thank you for letting me know that. I'm going to be a little more cautious now hiking around my backyard. Mike, if folks want to find out more about your museum, do you have a website they can visit to find out hours and programs? We sure do. You want to go to www.vermontmuseum.org. Uh, also check us out on Facebook uh, under the Southern Vermont Natural History Museum. Thank you so much for coming. And Ember, thank you for coming today. Great. Is she great? <laughs> she is. <laughs> she's, she's pretty great. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Stay tuned. More to come live on the 802. She is, uh, at least she's not venomous. That's one no, thing. No. She's right? very sweet. Hi. She's